multimedia, eclectic visual artist, creator of unique images and patterns, photographer who had installations in some of New York's most visited places. Chin, if you could define yourself using one word, what would that be? Extreme. I uh, follow my dream from there and here, east to west, Beijing to New York. French, dreamer. Dedicated. Experienced. Curious. Hopeful. Meticulous. Chin Song grew up in a quiet area of Beijing and now lives in Brooklyn pursuing a career in arts through works that mix folk elements into contemporary art. Using substantial scales and going against her parents' wishes, Song makes a living off collages and creations that borrow pictures from magazines in the service of large questions about social and political values. The first time I saw Shin Song's work uh, was really a stroll down uh, Broadway, um, and I confronted or I experienced the Five Elements piece, um, which is a kind of a paper piece that references the Five Elements, but is absolutely exquisite. You're originally from China, and you relocated here in 2000. Tell me about that experience, and what was your first impression? I found out many different kinds of people from carry their own culture and uh, staying here, try to survive in here. And uh, for me, it's a learning experience. And being that you are from Beijing and living now in Brooklyn, two very different worlds, right? Mm -hmm. What are some major differences that affect you through your work? I grew up in the Zhongguancun and the uh, in intellectual area. It's kind of simple and quiet when the time I grew up, but later on, we are, you know, that area development to the computer technology areas feel like uh, Silicon Valley's in, you know, in there. So it's a lot of people from the another city and uh, moving into that area and uh, working there. So for me, it's, it's change, you know, why, you know, it's, it's so different than the time when I grew up. And uh, being here in Brooklyn is also just like that. You know, we're from all over the world and we're living here and we ca carry our own culture and background and uh, try to share which, with each other. And um, I think that's, that's make me um, think about it. Uh, then uh, also they have really strong connection with it. And what are some things that you appreciate about <coughs> living in such so two different worlds. I feel I'm in between, you know, I'm uh, not belong with each of side, but in in the middle is very hard. And the good thing is we see two different part and two different side what's going on. We can compare and we have strong feeling with to side. But another thing is it's very hard as like a challenge. You are try to find your own path and uh, your own way. So it's like uh, the Kung Fu movie, <laughs> like you are in there fighting all the warriors and uh, get step by step. And, but that path make me a strong and looking forward. I walked into a gallery in Chelsea, which sadly no longer exists, um, which was dedicated to contemporary Chinese art. Um, and there I saw the kinds of things I was familiar with painting, prints, uh, some video. But then this peculiar thing over <laughs> on one side, which uh, was a kind of draping, swooping, what I took at first to be a fabric piece, but I soon learned what's actually cut paper. And I, I thought that was very striking because as many times as I'd been to China and as many Chinese artists as I knew, uh, I could think of only one other artist who was working in paper, um, so I was immediately intrigued. Bringing these folk elements into contemporary art um, is something that you see every now and again, but not, uh, not done uh, with the exquisite uh, uh, execution that Shinsong actually pr brings to her work. Also the scale. 
of what she's doing, her content, subject matter, very unique. You started off when you were around 18 years old. How did you realize that you wanted to pursue a career in arts? I was a study art before that in the children's palace nearby in, in my neighborhood. And I meet a bunch of uh, kids like my, uh, like my age. And also they have older kids already know they want to be an artist <laughs> in that, you know, the, the, the class. So I see them, I learn with them and draw with them together. So I feel like, oh, that's, you know, that's, we have this kind of career can, can do something with. And uh, we also go to the uh, suburbs to do a landscape. I think that start my research of, you know, for research doing the forecard in the countryside. That's the big things open my eye to see the really, really different people and the farmers there, you know, using a thousand years tradition, using their hand and cutting and the sewing and uh, making uh, patterns, you know, celebrating in the village and uh, sharing the moment with each other from generation to generations. And I am, um, stay with them, you know, just sleep with them, stay with them and learning from them. So I feel that's really big things for me just to see their, like art has a life, you know, every day they doing, they're not thinking they're doing art, they just do it. They just pick up the scissor and cut and decorate their home, and, you know, their windows or some event or celebrating in the village. So did anybody in your family inspire you or encouraged you to follow a career, a career in arts? I think my parents is very open mind. There's, they are not really happy with, but they're, they're not stopping me. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember mm, my father, I remember I was uh, went to, uh, uh, suburbs and the parks to do a landscape. And then sometimes, you know, sometimes I come back home as late, and my mom is. I heard their conversation. My mom <laughs> was talk to my dad. Dad say, I'm. Um, uh, she always come back late. You know, she not study enough. What's she doing <laughs> out, out there playing? Or, so I heard my dad tell her and say, Don't worry. I believe in. I believe what she doing. So I think that when I heard that, it's really um, encouraged me to do what I need to do. And it's hard to have a, a parents believe in you. She has taken what is ordinarily a folk vernacular form, not very highly regarded in terms of you know, artistic hierarchies, uh, and turned it into a serious high art form.